Hey guys, Elementrix here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel and to another Breach Ability Guide video. Today we are jumping into the brand new map Ascent and we'll be focusing on the defensive side. We'll be taking a look at some general tips, the best ability spots and how to position yourself in order to get the upper hand in every gunfight. Just before we get started, I finally set up my Twitch channel and we'll be going live this Thursday for the first time and even with a face cam. So join in, hang out and we can go over some tips and tricks for Breach. So follow me on Instagram or join my Discord channel to find out when I'm going live. All the details are in the description down below, same for the timestamps in case you want to jump to any part of this video. Ascent is so far one of the harder maps to play on, definitely because it's a newer map, but I found that there aren't many spots to get out a good flash without exposing yourself too much. The majority of the spots require you to play aggressive and up close to choke points as information is crucial on Ascent since the rotation times can be quite slow. However, the more I played, the more I started to realize that you will need to change your playstyle depending on the area you're defending, as well as how the opposing team executes a site. I will explain exactly what I mean once we jump into a custom match. And just before we do that, let me give you a quick overview of what we will be taking a look at today. Starting off with A site, you have two main spots, one is more aggressive and the other is passive. B site as breach should always be played as more aggressive and up close to the choke point and mid should definitely be played passively as trying to get mid control is very difficult and in most cases not worth the risk. Let's jump into a custom match and go over the ability spots as well as how to position yourself. All right, so starting off with a bomb site and let's start off with the more passive spot I would say and that is basically holding it from site. Now, I would only hold this passively if you, for example, have a Cypher in your team that is able to have a camera over here, or if anyone else in your team is able to play this a little bit more aggressive just to get some information and then fall back. Because what you don't want to be doing is sitting on site, ready to flash, but it's kind of too late because they've already come out onto site. They have smokes and they have utility that they've been able to kind of put out. And once they're on site, you're going to give out the information to your team that, that they need to rotate, but it's kind of too late. Um, so you definitely want to get some early information by having someone play that spot up front. Now, let's say you're playing breach up on site, you're, paying, you're playing it defensive. There's two spots that I would say you should try and play it from. One is kind of holding this angle here because you're really only exposing yourself to one angle. And you can also use uh, the flash right off here to flash anyone coming out of, um, out of A main. Or you can also pop it right off here, again, to flash anyone coming out of A main as well. So you have some diversity over there. The next spot is uh, right here on site. It allows you to use a flash on that corner. Again, you can even use one up over there. You can use one right into this box. And you can even use one right over there. So you have like four spots that you can really get out a proper flash out of. And I think that if you change it up, so if you one time hold here, the next time you play a little bit on that side, and the third time you come up a little bit more um, aggressive out here, then you're really changing up your position and you're really, um, you know, making sure that the enemy is not going to anticipate where you're going to be hiding. All right, and this second spot, a little bit more aggressive. Um, now, keep in mind that you shouldn't pop a flash from here uh, unless you're playing it with another teammate. Let's say you have a teammate holding this angle over here. And you can prepare to flash him in. You flash and he can peek. But don't do this. Don't flash and then come round. Because you see how long it took for me to, to come around this corner here. They're either already gone into cover or um, the flash effect is over. So use this corner instead. And then peek. Okay. Um, then what you can also do at the beginning of the round, let's say they haven't pushed out yet, you can use your stun to get out a stun here. They're going to be delayed and they're going to be waiting and you're in this corner all of a sudden. Now, the only disadvantage with this corner here is if you get spotted out or uh, Raze puts a boom bot or whatever, then you're basically, <laughs> you're basically done because they're just going to throw utility at you over here and you're dead. But what's really effective is if you manage to come out into this corner, you can easily get out a flash um, and really catch them off guard. Now, keep in mind, if you're going to do that, don't pop your flash just because you hear footsteps, um, especially if they're back here. You really got to wait till they've pushed up and that they're already basically ready to enter onto site. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to flash and they're just going to go back into cover. So if you want to play a bit of a more ballsy move, you can try this out one few rounds here and there. 
you know, come out here, pop your, pop your flash, and then peek. Just to add on one more thing, if you're going to peek this corner, make sure you always pre-fire. Um, you, can, you can just line yourself up with this wall. You see this line here? Just, just under this line, that's headshot level. You see? And you're basically lining it up. You're ready to flash, and then you peek. And she's dead. And just to add something on to a bomb site, I haven't really played this spot a lot, um, simply because it was always held by another team. Usually it's Arena that likes to play from this spot, but for example, if you're playing Breach, you can use this uh, box over here, or you can even use anywhere up there to kind of pop off a proper flash. Keep in mind though that if your teammates are holding mid from a, from a further away angle, they're going to get flashed. But if you know mid is clear, this flash up here might be quite effective at um, really getting an entire area on mid. But otherwise, use this flash over here and then slowly start to, you know, come out here and cover this area. But essentially, you don't want to expose yourself too much because they come out of spawn right there. Um, it's quite, you're at quite a disadvantage, one versus usually two or three people. And especially if you're coming out here, then you're exposing yourself to all of mid and to anyone top mid. All right, so moving on to B bomb side, and basically for B, I would recommend that you really try and hold this uh, quite aggressively here. Use your stun, uh, your fault line ability at the start of the round, um, simply because what you don't want is them rushing out, and you don't want them to start to really get a, a proper push on you guys. So just if you're playing B, use your fault line over here to kind of stall them, or what you can also do is if you hear a lot of steps, let them come up, and then once you hear the orb, just pop it down over here, and pop your fault line or your aftershock right over there, and it will basically clear this entire area over here. So the reason the reason you want to play the bomb set quite aggressive is because if they've managed to get onto sites, they're gonna have utility, of course. So they'll be able to uh, smoke out this, smoke out CT, and they've basically been able to push onto sites then it's extremely difficult to do a retake considering the amount of corners and the amount of angles that um, the attacking team has once they've, once they've taken over bombsite. So they can have anywhere on site. They can also hold uh, up close this angle over here. They can hold this little corner over here, under here. They can be in the, what do you call this? The boathouse, I think it's called. And they can even play then, of course, from uh, B main. So what you want to try is to limit the amount of rushes onto B as possible, um, giving your team the enough time to to rotate round to the bomb site. All right. So when you're holding the spot aggressively, what you can also do is have a teammate uh, with you over here, and you can just pop a flash through the wall, and then they can take the peek as well. They'll usually go back into this cover over here, and this box is spammable, so you can just shoot right through it, and that should get you an easy kill, and should give you enough information on where the enemy team is. Now, if you're at a disadvantage and most of your team has died. Then I would suggest that you play it defensively if you know that they're coming on to be bombsite. Because um, usually when you're going up one versus so many people, you don't want to risk dying and then basically completely giving up the bombsite. So then you can basically fall back, try and hold this angle over here. You have a few spots which you can, you know, pop a flash off if you still have. You can pop it off there. It will flash anyone that's kind of coming onto site. You can, of course, use it over here. Just an easy flash to anyone coming onto site as well. Um, but essentially, it's going to allow you to have a lot of cover from anyone um, coming from this side. You can come around here and get anyone coming from this side as well. So playing it a little bit more defensive is the better way to go. Trying to get onto site and trying to play this angle over here is not really a good idea because you might get one kill, but then you're dead right after uh, because you have nowhere to go. So try and think of the cover you can use on the bomb site in order to limit the amount of angles that you're exposing yourself to. The final spot which you could play uh, Breach from as well, which is pretty okay, is back here if you're deciding to play a defensive. However, keep in mind that this box, or this wall here, sorry, is completely uh, spammable. So once they know you're here, they can just spam it and you're gonna take some serious damage. However, you have this flash spot over there that basically gets anyone um, coming out of main over here. And it will also give you a good peak advantage when you're popping the flash. Blinding. You can then peek. Alright. Same goes for one over here. Simple. If you want to, Blinding. you can also use that over there. So there are a few options, but do keep in mind that this is spammable. 
All right, so moving on to mid. Now, holding mid on ascent is extremely difficult because of how large it is and how many different uh, corners and angles the enemy team has. So unless you have like a, a omen or anyone that can basically, or brimstone or anyone that can pop out smokes, um, taking it over very early into the round is more, more likely than not, not really worth it. Simply because you don't want to die too early into the round and then you've anyways given up mid. Even if you can get off one kill, you're most likely dead um, trying to go for the next one. So if you do manage to get a kill, fall back and here's what you can do to hold mid passively. You can hold it from this angle over here, of course. If you know that they don't have a sniper or an operator, you can easily hold it from here quite quite safely. And if you know that they're pushing out onto mid, then that is just a grave graveyard for them. Because what's going to happen is with your flashes and your toolkit, you can easily pop a flash. As soon as you pop that flash, they're going to go into cover. And then you can easily just pop your fault line here or across here as well. And just kind of pop into the corner. And exactly the same thing goes for this little corner over here. And then pop your fault line, your aftershock, and they're dead. So if they're going into these corners, that's kind of what you want as Breach, because um, that kind of, you know, doesn't give them a lot of room to move out of. And also if you're holding it very defensively, then you're limiting yourself even less to the amount of angles. So you can just get an easy kill, fall back, call out, give the information to your team, allow them to rotate, and you still have the bomb site secure without even dying. Shorty. She's dead. Thanks, dude. One. Also, just to add something on when you're holding mid, people tend to kind of like to come into these corners over here. If they've been flashed or if they're taking uh, enemy fire, then they like to come up into these corners. And that's really good for you as Breach, remember, because again, just clearing these corners is so easy with using your fourth line with an aftershock right there. So try and think about, um, try and get information and use your abilities into these corners. Um, you can get some easy kills like that. All right, so one more thing I want to add. If you're playing A bombsite or even B bombsite and you know that there's a lot of stuff happening down on mid and you see at least three, maybe even like four guys, then all you need to do is flank round. So come run through main, go through lobby, come out of mid top and you'll easily backstab them. I mean, this has worked quite a few times for me. Same goes for B main. You can come out B main, go through link and you can easily pick off at least two guys. So try and uh, flank around in this map as much as possible, especially if they're putting down a lot of pressure out here on mid and they're trying to get through mid to B. Then if you come around mid top here, you can easily backstab them. One enemy hey, remaining. Sage's mid. Sage's mid. Flash in mid. Flash out. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found the content useful. If you did, you already know what to do. And if you're new to the channel and you really enjoy this kind of content, then why not consider subscribing? So take care, stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys later.